Want to get more sales without being salesy? Well, you've come to the right place. Check this out. This is the Sales Gorilla Podcast. All right. Welcome back to the Sales Gorilla Podcast with your host, the world's greatest sales gorilla ever, Landon Porter. Landon, how are you doing today, man? All right. All right. All right. How are you doing, Nathan? I'm doing pretty good. And we've got a strange... Strange conversations set up for the listeners today. Mm -hmm. My main message to my marketplace is figure out who it is that you want to work with and then only speak to them. And I can't tell you how many messages I've gotten, how many email responses I've gotten back from our marketing stuff, people reaching out to me on on, uh, LinkedIn and Facebook saying, so you help people with sales and marketing and getting clients. Can you help me? And yeah, kind of. The main thing here is if you've got something to sell, you need a solid, repeatable, easy way to market, to bring people into your world or prospect, which is the one-on-one version of marketing. So you can eventually get into a conversation with somebody that might look like somebody who needs your thing so you can sell them your thing. Whether you know exactly what you do and exactly for who you do it for, or you just got this wild hair up your ass that you want to be an entrepreneur and own your own business and you have no idea even what you could do for somebody, eventually you're going to need to get clients to have a business. So I get everybody from one end of the spectrum to the other end. Um, People who have sales teams, 30, 40, 50, 100, 200 people in-house that do a specific thing, right? Landon, you've got this crazy little world on Facebook and you've got this really cool attitude, but some of the shit you say really makes a lot of sense. And then like, can you teach my people how to do that? Yeah, totally. And then we get the all the way on the other end, man, I, I just, I, I want to have a dream life and make a million dollars next week. And, and I don't know what I'm going to sell. Can you help me get clients for that? No. So as I've continued, <laughs> as I've continued to go through this process, not only for myself, but to help un- to help other people understand, like, if you have a thing, if you've got a skill set that you do for other people, and you're good at it, I can help you get clients as long as you're not broken. And what I mean by broken is is if you're so mindset screwed up that you can't talk to somebody and ask them questions about what they're dealing with and then make them an offer with a reasonable dollar amount attached, you're broken. You don't need to worry about getting clients yet. You need to worry about your mindset. But The people that I work with are good at the thing that they do. They want to connect with people in a non-spammy, non-douche canoe kind of way. They don't want to talk to a thousand prospects to land a client. They generally charge four and five and sometimes six figures for what they do. And they're damn good at what they do. And they want to spend as much time of their workday doing that and not setting up stupid, crazy automations and building out gargantuan webinars and email sequences. Like, I mean, Hey, if that's your thing and you like those shiny objects, then have at it. But I prefer to work with people that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want that. I want to know how to find exactly who my clients are, exactly how to start a conversation with them, an easy way to have that conversation that removes all the BS and all the neediness. And I can get good clients that I actually want to work with in the shortest amount of activity daily as possible. Those are my people. So I'm going to say from hanging out in the jungle, I think there's more to it than that though. I think there is an attitude and maybe a personality that goes along with being your people. Yep. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Nope. It's secret. It's okay. (laughs) (laughs) 
No, here's, here's, here's kind of the, in a nutshell. Um, if you're listening to my podcast and you haven't been in my world or, or you haven't spent enough time in my jungle to, to have a sense of this, my deal is this. I think humans deserve better. And what I mean by that specifically as it, as it applies to client acquisition is we're just a bunch of educated monkeys. Like literally we are just a bunch of really smart in parentheses, mostly stupid fucking monkeys. And what I mean by that is it's really easy with the sciences that we've got to manipulate people. And the vast majority of people on this planet, I believe, I know that I've dealt with are actually good, solid people. Doesn't mean I like them, right? But they're good, decent, solid people and they deserve better. And what I mean by that is to really learn how to be a sales god is like getting a black belt in any martial art because that's what it is. It's a psychological martial art. And once you're able to break somebody's arm in a two-second move, you don't leverage that to do that unless you're absolutely required to. And I can show you in a weekend seminar how to break somebody's arm pretty quick, but you don't have any of the background on how to avoid at all costs doing that until you have no other choice. But all of these weekend seminar sales training jerks are teaching all of these good-natured, good-hearted people all of these dirty tricks that they are effective, but they make you look like a complete asshat and make you feel like crap and demean the people that you're, at the end of the day, trying to actually help. But now there's this weird, gross, icky, disgusting, usually it's painful, and most of the time that shit doesn't work because they're tips, tricks, hacks, and shortcuts. I want to work with people that are good at the thing that they do that don't want to learn how to be a salesperson. They just want to quickly be able to go get super high value clients and really do good by them. And that ain't sales. There's some sales principles in there that you need to understand, but this is not like manipulation and coercion. I said all that to say this. I'm fucking tired of the sales thing because 80% of the sales thing out there that's being sold is crap. And it's crap because it's power dynamic nonsense and humans deserve better. So through my crazy ass little world and this nutso attitude and personality that I've got, I'm doing everything I can to change the conversation around sales because I don't want it to be a dirty word. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I think that that's one of the things that really attracted me to what you do is I'm kind of, I'm the type of person where I won't take a job on if I don't believe in the product or the service that I'm helping someone sell. Right. And so many salespeople out there, their whole thing is like, Here's how you force it down anybody's throat. Here's how you get anybody to buy, even if they're not the proper person and it's not the right solution for them. Yeah, it's there's there's a lot of um, there's a lot of nuance in what it is that I try and explain. The bottom line is this: people, by and large, deserve better. And no, they're not fucking stupid, and they don't need to be taken, shaken, and made to understand. And those aggressive alpha 12 year old pre adolescent, angry, frustrated, I'm going to get what I want no matter what tactics that worked 50 or 60 years ago because you had to do that that way to be a sales guy. They don't work, they just, they're just not effective. And if you're good at the thing that you do, you probably want to have a business that's thriving, amazing, and people think the world of you long term, and you're not going to get it by forcing people to make decisions, even though you're smarter than they are, and by God, they, they need your thing, because if that's your attitude, you're wrong. So as we're closing this episode up, I want to know 
what is your approach? What's different about your approach? What do you do? The people that you prefer to work with and why? How did you come to this conclusion that the way you do it is the way that works better for you and, and for the people that you work with? I got really clear with myself about eight years ago, nine years ago now, that, oh, I don't like everybody. I don't think I'm better than everybody. I don't think I'm better than anybody. I just recognize one day that fuck, I don't like some of these people that are my clients. I don't like, like, I don't have friends that I don't like. Duh, right? I got really clear on, oh, well, if that's the case of how I feel, I would imagine that there are people that don't like me. <gasps> oh my God, that hurts. My feels are, are, are stinging and they're, the bottom line is this, there's a reason that we don't all get along and it's not because of political or socioeconomics and all of that nonsense. The bottom of the line is some of us just don't jive with some of us others. And if you can get clear on who that is and you can be okay with the fact that there's going to be some people that just don't like you or totally disagree with you and you're okay with that, ah, the people that do totally resonate with you just kind of bubble up out of the woodwork. And they find you and they go, that's my guy or that's my gal. And I don't want to be anything that I'm not. Like, this is who I am. If you don't like it, good. Bye. Right? And because I don't want to have to try and be something that I'm not. Like I said, when we started the, the show previous to this, I'm, I put on my Sunday best for this. Right now, of course, I've got suits because I might go to somebody's wedding or a funeral, but like, I'm not wearing a collared shirt. I'm not going to be clean shaven. Uh, no, it's not me. I'm not going to do that stuff. And the people in my world that are okay with that or actually like that are the people that are my people. Nice. Okay. So if someone wants to learn more about how to be your people or, or, see if they are your people. Where can they go to check out more of the whole sales gorilla world? Salesgorillapodcast.com. That would be the, be the best place to start. You can get a snapshot of what I think about sales and marketing and getting clients and all of that. Awesome. And how do people find their way into the jungle? Mm, it's like a 73 page application process. You got to pay up front and you know, we're going to take your firstborn and all that. We run a Facebook group. Um, it's a small, tight knit community. Most of us are, you know, a little, a little caustic, and we've got personalities. But that'd be a good place to come find out if you're a fit, and if you are, fantastic. And if you're not, that's totally okay. And how do people find the Facebook group? I'm not going to tell them. They're going to have. I'm to kidding. Find I'm kidding. You can you can check out our Facebook group at Facebook. <laughs> You can check out our Facebook group at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Gorilla Juice, G-O-R-I-L-L-A-J-U-I-C-E. I'll give you a squeeze. All right, Landon, I've had about a, enough of your attitude today. <laughs> I'm going to have to call it quits on this episode. Until next time, check out salesgorillapodcast.com. Check out the jungle over on Facebook. And until next time, man, I'll catch you later. Peace out, Cub Scouts. Oh, you're killing me.